hide. Uh, if you live anywhere within these areas, anywhere you see any of these boxes, whether it's orange or red, you don't want to be outside. Lowest level, lowest level of your homes, away from windows. And uh, that's certainly something, just a sturdy building like that. So Mike, certainly still very active out there. And uh, uh, we're certainly keeping an eye on things closely. Certainly the threat continues here for northern Montana from I would say about Haver uh, off to the east. Haver, you're in the clear. Uh, we're going to go give you the all clear at this time. I know many of you are without power uh, up in Hill County, but uh, we are going to give you the all clear for severe weather. No more severe weather for you. This is the storm that I'm most concerned with right now because this thing uh, is capable of producing 80 mile per hour winds that can do some big time uh, destruction here. Uh, anywhere from Highway 2 uh, from to the east of Malta over toward Glasgow, this is the area to watch. Uh, for a severe thunderstorm for damaging winds and you can see the two severe thunderstorm warnings that we have uh, in effect uh, right now. So uh, we're going to continue to track this. We've had storms roll through Haver. We're getting in some new photos uh, of the damage uh, from these storms that have been moving through uh, parts of uh, northern Montana, Hill County here and Haver. Uh, and so we're continuing to track these as well. And we're working to, to bring you some of those photos. Uh, we are hearing reports that uh, many are without power right now in Haver and Hill County and all the way back toward Harlem. Uh, we are uh, looking at power outages as well. So a couple of photos to share with you here uh, of some of the damage that we're getting in. This photo here from Josh Miller, a trained uh, weather spotter that is up in Haver. You can see a large tree uh, that's been toppled down here. Uh, so this storm uh, producing, of course, damaging winds, knocking trees over another tree down. Thanks to Josh uh, for sending us these photos here uh, by email uh, earlier this evening. And if you have a, a damaged photo, uh, we'd like to share it. You can send it to KRTV News at KRTV.com or Facebook it to us. You can also tweet it to us and uh, we can share that with our viewers. It gives us a good idea of where we're uh, seeing damage from these storms. So here we go again. Again, this is Haver, uh, and again, trees down, numerous power outages here. I'm just checking a couple of reports, uh, and uh, we are still uh, monitoring uh, the storms as they move through. We sounds like we have a lot of uh, folks without power along Highway 2, uh, and this uh, looks like, uh, okay, this is from Northwestern Energy. We're just getting this in. A uh, large number of customers without power. Uh, and forgive me, I'm just going to step on and read my watch. So from Northwestern Energy, we have a large number of customers that are without power along Highway 2 from Chester to Harlem, including Haver. Uh, it sounds like crews are out patrolling right now, but it does not sound like they're going to be able to do a full assessment of the damage uh, until tomorrow morning. Uh, until the sun comes up here. Uh, so it sounds like a lot of folks may be without power throughout the night and through much of the day on Sunday as well uh, because the crews, uh, while they're working uh, to restore power, they also cannot be out in the severe weather. OK, so as warnings are issued, they cannot be out in the severe weather dealing with the elements as well. They have to wait for the storms to clear, and it doesn't sound like we're going to get a full assessment of the damage now uh, until the morning hours. So if you know someone, if you have friends or family that are without power now, uh, chances are they're going to be without power here uh, through most of the morning tomorrow, if not the entire day on Sunday.